I, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. This video is essentially me finally saying, fuck it. I'm done. I'm done with U.S. politics. I'm just fucking done. As I currently speak, um, Massachusetts has just come back, and Maryland and Maryland has just come back uh, as with Hillary Clinton as the winner, so she gets the electoral votes for those. Um, and also uh, District of Columbia, Rhode Island, and Delaware. While I watch as the presidential election unfolds, regardless of who wins, I think we're all going to need a nice, stiff drink. Well, some of us. Some of us are going to drink something a little lighter. One, because it was cheap. I think I'll break that open a little bit later. Um, essentially... It doesn't matter who wins. Because bourgeois democracy doesn't work. Bourgeois democracy is only for the rich. Hence why it's called bourgeois democracy. No one had, an, had a choice to begin with. People always want to say, well, I gotta vote Hillary or I gotta vote Trump. You no, know, it doesn't matter who the fuck you voted for to begin with. Hell, you could have been like me and voted Jill Stein. It wasn't gonna make a difference. The only thing that's clear is that Johnson has about, what, 2.4% of the vote as of this recording? Jill Stein is possibly going to take, um, she's possibly going to end up taking uh, California if, you know, Trump or Hillary doesn't take it first, but there's a lot of support in California for, uh, just specifically for uh, Jill Stein. And that shouldn't be surprising. I mean, look at how many people were Bernie Sanders supporters in California who felt basically screwed over by the system. It's not surprising. But, um, essentially, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter to begin with. The election was already called for um, by the bourgeoisie. I mean, there's a reason why they say that if voting actually actually worked, it would be illegal. I just don't know. I caved. I voted for Jill Stein. I don't care for anybody in this election, really. But I felt like since I was going to vote, I might as well vote for somebody. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to vote for Jill Stein. Obviously, I also voted for legalization of marijuana. I voted for a lot of different things on the California ballot. Um, you know, I voted for my representatives, my state senate, everything on down to pretty much city council. I'm, I'm done, folks. This is an election that has literally warn everybody, including myself, to a tither. Essentially, I'm done. I'm done talking about it. There's going to be certain things I will maybe discuss, and there's going to be one other thing I'm going to cover before I finally sign off from U.S. politics altogether. But, um, essentially I'm done. This is essentially my goodbye to U.S. politics. Uh, I see no, nothing of substance to talk about anymore. I mean, let, basically at this point, talking about, talking about bitching about, frankly, the U.S. political system means jack shit anymore. It's tiring, it's, it's kicking a dead horse. It really is. It's just, you know, it's literally kicking a dead horse with steel-toed boots and beating it over the head with a fucking tire iron. That's how freaking tired it is. Just it, that, That's how... That, that's just how much this system has basically failed us. 
if you even want to say that it, it was even a set to be to su help us succeed in the first place. I mean, let's look back to the founding fathers who were basically white male landowners, essentially rich white males. You know, it, the vote didn't matter. It really, really didn't matter. So, yeah, it, it's it, it's essentially it's always been that way. Even though people have the right to vote, everyone has the right to vote now, even though some parts of the Voting Rights Act were struck down, the system wasn't ever made for us. It wasn't made for, for African Americans. It wasn't made for women. It wasn't made for the working class. It was made to help the rich, the white male rich for that matter. So it doesn't, your vote didn't matter anyway. Ultimately, it comes down to this. It all ultimately comes down with who you're more morally for. If you believe that that, that is, um, if you somehow believe that that is Donald Trump, or you somehow believe that's Hillary Clinton, it doesn't really matter. Or if you wanted to vote for a third party, which really doesn't make a difference, then go ahead and do that. But. You know, I hate all these people that basically say, oh, well, if you vote third party, your vote de de doesn't count, or it's a vote for Stein is vote for Trump, but a vote for Johnson is vote for Hillary. You don't understand. The vote didn't matter. That's what the point of this video is. It didn't matter to begin with. So even if you vote third party, you're voting third party. You vote for Trump, you vote for Trump. You vote for Hillary, you vote for Hillary. It doesn't fucking matter. Because at the end of the day, who really decides it? the rich, the bourgeoisie, that special interest groups, that's who it, it corporations, those are who it, who it benefits. It doesn't benefit us, not in the slightest. So for all those people that basically think that somehow they gain anything from this, they don't. And it's time to actually wake up and realize that, that nothing is going to change unless you basically change the system itself. And since most Americans are pretty much at this point unwilling, or maybe just too fucking ignorant and lazy to do so, pretty much the country, yeah, pretty much, pretty much the country is doomed to basically be left with either neo-Nazi white supremacist fascism or a watered-down version of Francoism under Clinton? I don't know. It really doesn't matter. And that's what I'm trying to impart to everybody. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. This election doesn't mean shit. No, no election has ever meant jack shit. I will say this. As a nice little parting gift from all this, I will say this, and stay, you know, bear with me whether you agree with it, agree with it or not. Barack Obama's presidency, for the most part, has been actually a success if you look at it from political analysis. The man has at least put an effort to try to change the country. Obviously, not to change the system, but to change the country to at least make things, give concessions to certain aspects of the, you know, the social classes. So he's trying to, in some ways, better race relations. He's try obviously, he's trying to better, you know, the, the feeling of uh, the American people towards Islam and Arabs and stuff like that. He's tried. He's done a lot to try to benefit social, you know, unrest now we could go now we could use the whole whole thing with you know the police killings and militarization of the police you know that was all stuff that was the cause of the war on drugs and you know Reaganomics and further conservative theory but I mean ultimately Obama's presidency wasn't a complete failure the only thing I would say is a complete failure is the continued failure of the war on drugs and the continued uh, failure that is his 
his foreign policy, much like, you know, we could use Syria, Ukraine, and, you know, the whole fact that he's still keeping troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Oh, and the drone strikes and killings of innocent school children and women and doctors, frankly, without borders. But other than that, you know, we could kind of say a lot about Obama. There's a lot of things I could really, really say, but ultimately it comes down to the political analysis. Was socially, he, he tried his best, and I would say for the most part he actually succeeded, um, just within the skin of his teeth, but he succeeded. Um, the man has actually dropped the unemployment rate now, not as low as some liberals would like to say, but he dropped it at least a few percentage points. I mean, you have to understand that when we started, when he be came into office, like, unemployment was, what, like, 12%, 11%? At least he's dropped it back down to about 7, 8, but, and that's a conservative estimate. So he has significantly improved unemployment. He has actually, the, the economy of the United States has actually gotten better gotten more corporatized and monopolized, but it's gotten better. Um, you know, if you want to look at the success of capitalism, he actually did quite a bit to revamp it in the U.S. Now, is he going, has, it, has any of his stuff actually been long-term stuff that's going to help uh, prevent capitalism from falling apart? No, because capitalism is always going to have flaws. That's because it the very system that it's founded on is designed to basically have these pitfalls and stuff like that. So, but ultimately, his presidency, socially and economically, it was a success. Um, I would say that he's done a lot as far as trying to improve the the eco the ecology the. Um, the environment, stuff like that. There's been a lot of improvements uh, that he's made on that, or you know, at least tried to improve on things that have already been in place. So there's been significant gains in that. However, you know, it, his flip-flopping when it comes to fracking is obviously up for debate. Foreign-wise, it's kind of hard to say whether Obama's presidency there could have been a success or failure because it's really one of those things that's hard to tell. I mean, if we want to say that, you know, talking about the peop the amount of innocent people he killed, then, that, then yes, it's a dismal failure. If we want to look at, you know, pretty much his... I would say it's a, it's a success on the fact that, for the most part, he stayed out of Ukraine. Obviously, we're always going to ha have our say-so in it where our nose doesn't belong, but he stayed out of Ukraine, he stayed out of, for the most part, stayed out of Syria, <coughs> albeit for maybe <coughs> smuggling, having uh, weapons sent to the rebels, it turned out to be ISIS, <coughs> but anyway, uh, other than that, he's actually done a, f he's done the best he could, ultimately. So we can't really say that he, his presidency was a dismal failure. Retroactively, we can't also say that, much as we can't also say that Bush's presidency was a dismal failure. I mean, let's be honest, if we're going to be comparing apples and apples, Barack Obama did worse things than even George W. Bush. Um, he frankly did worse things than even Bill Clinton. And that's the thing we really should focus on here. You know, if we want to really compare it all... You know, it's no, he's no different than any other president that has preceded him. And I really don't think that... I really don't think that realistically, even though I'm skeptical of either, I don't think that it's going to be any much different between Trump or Hillary. Now, granted, Trump, I think, is going to lead us into a fucking nuclear annihilation. And Hillary, well, Hillary's going to do what Hillary's going to do. Ultimately, let's just, I'm just putting it out there. America's fucked either way. This is going to be, in my opinion, the last presidential election in the United States. Because essentially you're choosing between 
hard or soft fascism. It's like kind of which taste do you like different? So, um, whoever you voted for, hope you in hope you went out there, did your thing. You know, good for you. Meanwhile, the rest of us, pretty much all of us at this point, I guarantee you all be needing a nice good drink tonight as we essentially watch the series finale of America. As for me, it's not just a drink to say goodbye to America, but essentially to American politics. I will, for, for future reasons, obviously, whenever I cover, touch on it, I will be covering it from more of the event of foreign policy, much like I would probably an international event. But my focus now is basically going to just be on the regular current events that I typically do here. Californian politics, you know, politics when it comes down to even, yes, California, CNP, although most of the CNP stuff will most likely now be going on to a new channel, which is the California National Party channel, which once I have that up and running, I will let you guys know, and obviously anybody that's within that group, I'll let them know as well. But yeah, there's going to be some changes to corner, obviously, and I'm done. I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just freaking done. So America, it's been good. We've seen so many great speeches from great leaders in the past. Ask not what you can do for, what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Do not... You know, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Four score and seven years ago. America's had a good run. And now we get to drink as we watch it burn. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. And cheers to whatever the fuck you're celebrating or trying to drink the pain away. Peace. Peace.